Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Yanti Amos and I'm a wellness industry mentor and I teach yoga and karate globally. I post regular videos about karate, leadership and yoga and I want to thank you for showing up today. Let's get started. One thing that a lot of people forget to do in a great room is to breathe. That's the crazy thing, right? So we tend to bring everything here. And as this that happens, we tend to clench our jaw and we tend to hold the tension in our neck and in our shoulders. And I talked earlier about the shoulders lifting towards the ears. This is something that we don't really even realize we're doing. But see if you can actively drop the shoulders down. Like we said, big distance between the ears and the shoulders, long neck, open through the through here, so this area is really open, and instead of this tendency, can we make a difference by drawing shoulders back and down? So when I, I can't see it because I'm wearing my doga jacket, but when I wrap down, I can feel my scapula. I can feel that sense of the the wing-like feature of my let's see of my scapula. I can feel it gently down just. A, centimeter or two centimeters down but I can feel that engagement down into towards my lower ribs so I want you to see if you can feel that put your hand underneath here and just draw it down start making that a habit now I got a bit way late because I want to talk to you about breathing see if you can bring everything into more diaphragmatic breathing but ideally not just on the day of your grading see if you Start making it a habit leading up to the grading. And just as of now, let's just commit that we are going to change the way we approach our breathing. So this is normal to keep high and into the upper, upper chest. You can feel it. If you put your hand on your chest and your hand on your tummy, you can feel where your main breathing is. Okay, if I'm nervous, I even with the years and years of the pranayama or the breathing exercises I've done with yoga, I can still feel that my breathing can rise up. But I just bring it back down to an awareness there. Ribs into the diaphragm. And that is where you want your focus to be. So away from the shoulders, down. You notice that your habit is to bring attention to your jaw and to your mouth. Sometimes we can set our teeth and we can set the lower jaw, but if you can open and close, soften through the side of the neck, the front of the neck, back of the neck. To start with, take it away from the chest, bring it down, because then you'll see the shoulders relax, and you'll see the neck lengthen, and you'll also see the demeanor in your face becomes proud and dignified and away from that tense, stressed out expression. You want to exude, you want to send out fantastic warrior spirit type energy, the grading itself. So a lot of stuff, as you know, that happening behind the scenes internally rather than just a superficial band-aid thing. You want to make these happen and you want to make it uh, start now. Don't leave it till the last minute. So I also wanted to add a, a little uh, thing about uh, posture. Um, one thing that you will see a lot of people do is lift their shoulders up. This is tension, which you sometimes don't even know you're doing. But this stuff, you'll be doing this because you're just either nervous, anxious, or just tense. Whether we're in the dojo or whether we're outside the dojo, it happens at our desks, at the office. But if you can, think about wrapping the shoulders back and down. I've about this before. Use the armpits, wrap down, latissimus towards your lower ribs and into your lower back. Draw everything down to open up the collarbones and you're wrapping shoulders back. So this becomes open and broad. Get this uh, into a sort of a habitual pattern uh, in your own training and you will see a big difference in your own growth. So instead of this tendency, I'm exaggerating, but you'll see that. So you think about a long neck, think about the distance between your ears and your shoulders. Uh, so 
something we can actively counter just by uh, realizing and bringing that awareness during the course of your day. It's not just in the dojo, but especially in the dojo, think about that engagement, think about wrapping down. And there is obviously a little pulse point here that you'll feel in the low belly tip. One aspect of the uh, hikite uh, and the oily elbow is of course the uh, sending out of the arm. What you'll see people do wrong is that they'll, you'll see this sort of trajectory where the arm comes out wide, like almost like a hook. But you'll know that people who really understand the evolution and the preparation of a technique is especially pun our punches, is that you cannot bypass the connection to the torso and to the upper body, to, to the connection you spoke of earlier with the course of the muscle. So when you're sending out your punches, there's this brushing that happens with the elbow against the side of it. And uh, I want you to think a little bit about making an actual imprint on the on the side of the body. So you have to feel that uh, textural brushing against your doggy sleeve, against the actual body of, the, of your jacket. This feeling, a lot of people, surprisingly, or not surprisingly, you'll still see a lot of people do this. So please think about this. Sending out your punches in the proper trajectory. When we get nervous, sometimes we we do actually bypass the some of the fundamental steps that we may be working on for months and months, if not years, and then we just, just forget about it. If you're, as we said, looking at your own videos, you can also see what your habits are and uh, change things that you can change with some insight and some uh, awareness on your own little shot. Hi again. I wanted to ask you if you are aware. And by aware, I wanted to really narrow down uh, how aware are we in terms of how we move? What is our overriding habit or shortcoming that we need to address in order to be the most efficient in our karate? So it might be something to do with your stance, it might be leaning forward in your torso. It might be bending the back leg with the knee open and then could touch. It might be curling down into your instep and curling up on the outer edge of your back foot, uh, damaging uh, possibly your the lateral part of your knee. It may be punching with elbows very wide and no engagement through the serratus and infinitesimus. It may be a whole bunch of things. Maybe it's bringing your chin down, but maybe it's just always looking downwards. Uh, these are habits and, and quirks that we see all the time in the dojo. And I wondered whether you are aware of what you do and whether you know that you need to fix them. One, hopefully, only one or two things. Maybe not that whole bunch I mentioned. But if you're able to bring self-awareness very early on, then you're on the road to excellence. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're new to my channel, please be sure to click subscribe so you'll never miss new uploads. Keep practicing, everyone, and see you in the next video.